Continuing with Debian derivatives, we will now evaluate Q4OS and Ramada. There are three versions, Plasma Live, Trinity Live, and Trinity Install. I selected the Plasma version to evaluate. I configured the language, location, keyboard, disk and partition settings, name, username, and password. We waited for it to install. Q4 OS Andromeda version 6.1 is based on Debian Trixie, is from the Czech Republic, and claims to be fast and stable. We proceeded to review the menu and the applications installed by default. Next, we opened the console and increased the font size to improve visibility. Next, we updated the system and installed the applications needed for the evaluation. We ran FastFetch and observed the memory and disk details. Using commands, we displayed the same data, in addition to testing the date after the Y 2038 issue and running the system deanalyze command to see the boot time. We run benchmark tests with Sysbench, starting with the CPU to measure computing power, then we run memory tests to evaluate speed. Now we evaluate disk performance for storage management and thread and mutex tests to evaluate simultaneous execution and concurrent resources. Next, we use the top command to monitor RAM consumption while Firefox is open with four windows simultaneously, one of them with video. When finished, I feel that Plasma is consuming a lot of resources. I decided to try Trinity install, a bad idea because it's the Debian text installer, which takes a long time. I suggest Trinity Live. Now we'll test the Trinity version. To install, we configure the language, location, keyboard, disk, and partitions, as well as the name, username, and password. We wait for the installation to complete. We proceed to review the installed applications. Then, we open the console and increase the font size to improve visibility. We update the system and install the applications necessary for the test. We run FastFetch and look at details such as memory and disk usage. Using commands, we display the same data, in addition to testing the date after the Y2038 issue, and run the system deanalyze command to see the boot time. We run the sysbench tests, starting with the CPU test to measure computational power, then the memory test to evaluate management and speed. Now we evaluate disk performance for storage management and the thread and mutex tests to evaluate simultaneous execution and concurrent system resources. Next, we use the top command to monitor RAM consumption while Firefox is open with four simultaneous windows, one of them with video. We have finished evaluating the Trinity version. Let's analyze and compare the results of both versions to see which is worth installing. Regarding initial memory consumption and disk installation size, Trinity stands out for its savings, but in terms of boot time, Plasma is better. Regarding the memory consumed per Firefox window, Plasma uses 445 megabytes on average per window, while Trinity only 365 megabytes. Everything pointed to Trinity being more efficient, but when it came to analyzing CPU, thread, and mutex performance, Plasma was superior in every way. This balanced things out, but everything changed when looking at memory and disk read and write performance. Plasma is once again superior, incredible, in conclusion, if you want Q4OS for memory-limited computers, use Trinity. But if memory is not an issue and you want greater efficiency and performance, use Plasma. That's all, we'll continue with the evaluation of Linux distributions. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time.